Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you for being here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a read and this is going to be for the month of August and uh, uh, I am going to push this out for you uh, as quickly as I can and this is going to be a general read so if you are looking for a personal read that taps into your own personal energies go to The Guided Intuitive up here or my description box. This is going to provide, this read is, going to, is um, going to provide clarity. What we're going to do is to focus in on what your current circumstances are, what is the basis of any sort of fear or uh, you know anxiety that might be taking place or confusion, uh, what can help you, and then some three steps to make it happen. So let's go ahead and work on that right now and see what's coming out for you. We'll pull Oracle as well uh, at the end to kind of transmute some of these energies. Uh, so let's jump into this and see where you're at right now. Thank you all who have booked uh, uh, all of the coaching packages and reads with me. I, I so appreciate it and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been just so beautiful and if you are experiencing, if some of you out there are experiencing any sort of uh, blockages that is coming in and standing in the way of your business, of your life or just your relationship overall, you definitely want to book a discovery session up here or it's in my description box. It does allow for uh, some one-on-one -on -one time together, complimentary, uh, for us to get to know each other and then make an educated recommendation for you in your own personal situation. So it's customized. Uh, and that being said, if we're a good fit, then we invite you into one of our programs or packages, okay? So do keep that in mind if you are um, tired of being in the same place and repeating the same thing over and over again. If you want to break uh, you know, out of uh, the cocoon and kind of move forward and uh, take your life even a step further than you've ever imagined, uh, sometimes it helps to have that accountability, inspiration, motivation, and that clarity. And uh, that's what we work through. So uh, look forward to uh, that. So there you have it. So let's jump into this and let's get your reading going and see what's kind of standing out for you here, what wants to come out. I'm gonna be using the Vivid Journey Tarot. Um, so we're going to start with that and we'll pull some other clarifiers uh, along the way. Uh, but let's take a look at your current circumstances. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, Sag. So what we've got here is we've got the devil, we've got the three of swords and the king of swords. So, you know, perhaps you are, we're feeling in bondage in a relationship or in a situation, what's ever brought you to my channel here, okay? And it's kind of kept you tied, all right? So what this is saying is that you kind of felt bound and tied in something that perhaps maybe wasn't healthy for you or just wasn't feeling healthy. It wasn't, you know, uh, uh, you know kind of contributing to your greater good. Then the next card that I get is the uh, Three of Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy. This is um, heartbreak. This is some about some sort of heartbreak that has taken place, um, you know, and it could have to do maybe perhaps with uh, uh, an air sign, okay, of some sort, but there's been a heartbreak. And then I get the King of Swords. This is actually the same type of air energy, but this is actually, um, the King is all about authority. And this is all about, you know, being very clear thinking, being very intellectual and making a change. So there could have been a heartbreak where you could have had an Aquarius, um, Gemini or Libra in your uh, vicinity uh, to which that caused some sort of heartbreak, but they made some sort of change, cut something out and made an intellectual decision in what it is that they had to do. Um, maybe it caused you some sort of heartbreak, um, but uh, there was some sort of energy that was negative that just wasn't working. Uh, here's what I see if it's coming out. What is this? What was this devil energy? I'm just curious on what wants to come out for you here. Yeah, it's kind of like in the core of your being, you know that um, it perhaps it was in external circumstances that was kind of shaping your internal uh, way that you were feeling, whether it's you or that other person. But I really feel that it kind of shook you, uh, you know, to the core. And what this is about learning is not letting external circumstances rock your core to get so solid in you, your values and what you feel that that's not going to happen, that that won't shake that anymore. So I really feel that that bondage was something that was externally that was affecting you eternally. And what we would want to do is to get you to where you are internally so powerful um, to which that you can, you know, uh, uh, maneuver and uh, uh, you know, kind of zig and zag in terms of uh, scenarios that don't get you out of whack, right? That don't uh, fiddle with the brain and kind of get you um, going in a different way that is maybe more in the uh, negative aspects, okay? Now, you could be dealing with the Capricorn um, as well, um, you know, perhaps, but what this is saying is that that's, that's kind of what was coming through for me here in the current situation. So let's, let's move this further and find out... Um, yeah, you know, what is the, I think for, you, you could have been taking on this energy and kind of cut it out of your life as well, because it, it, 
it ended up getting you heartbreak. So whether it's a relationship or some sort of situation, it doesn't always have to be romantic, but um, again, that's what's kind of coming into play here. What is the cause of anxiety, fear, or what is, what, what is that? If we haven't discussed it already. Let's take a look at what this is. Ooh, okay. So we get the Hermit card, we get the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So the Hermit card has you now going within. After this heartbreak has you going within and shining the light inside, right? Because it's all about shining that light on inside uh, so you can actually illuminate uh, you know what it is that you need to kind of work on uh, so external circumstances don't rock your world So it's kind of going within to get some of these answers and taking a pause then I get the knight of cups Which is all about um, you know, this is uh, cancer Scorpio or Pisces type energy But they're very romantic and they're very charming, you know, it's really beautiful and There's communication coming through for that so you might have someone already in your realm already maybe you cut something out previously and now you're ready to move forward uh, and then what I get is the Knight of Cups. Look how happy you are here. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, it, it's kind of like um, you're really super happy. Like the cause of things, you know, the cause of the situation, um, you know, of the fear of anxiety or whatever that is, it could have been this, you know, this person um, that was in your realm previously that now it has gone. And so now this is the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and it's coming to fruition, this happiness, and it's this beautiful grin on your face. So you're gonna have to let me know, is this what's, what's coming through for you? But this is beautiful. Um, and and uh, yeah, it's just leaving you all giddy. And uh, yeah, and it's like, I think it's also too, it's like shining the light, um, you know, on, uh, if it was a, an Aquarius of some sort, kind of shining the light on what was the situation at hand. But then uh, again, you're really moving forward onto this love situation. I mean, there's a lot of cups here, guys. So um, you know, it's it's you know starts with the Knight of Cups and goes to the Nine of Cups. It's got you feeling really, really good. So the cause of anxiety was the fact that you needed to go within and shine the light on what you really, really wanted. Um, and then uh, you know, obviously, once you know what you want, emanating that vibration, that coming through to getting you where you're feeling emotionally fulfilled. Um, anything else on this Hermit card? It's a major arcana card, okay? So on the Hermit card, what we get is the Five of Pentacles. This is interesting because fives are all about some sort of adversity. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type energy. Um, so this just tells me that there was maybe in the past you felt a little bit more uh, impoverished, uh, you know, a little bit more maybe, you know, um, you know, with the finances and things like that. Or you maybe felt left out, you know, as others were, you know, and you kind of felt that things weren't kind of going for and going your way. Uh, but there was tons of support around you. And this is saying, well, listen, what this offers you do is, a, is a, to do is to have this brand new beginning. This is a page of Pentacles. This is also focusing on a message coming through from a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or some sort of message that's coming out about a manifestation or a new enterprise, a new way of how you can make money that's coming through. This is beautiful. So I really love it. So a new manifestation of a new enterprise. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous coming through here. So I think this going within how to get you clear on changing that mindset of getting out of this impoverished, being left out type feeling. You're ridding of that. You shine the light on that. You understand that there is a gem. There is a star in you. There's a beauty in you. And um, it has you moving forward to manifesting a brand new enterprise. There's like a message that's coming through. So this is beautiful. Um, this is really great. Now, who can help you in this process? I'm just curious, like who can help you in this process? And what can help you in this process, so to speak? Let's see what that is. Ooh, okay, man. So we get the lover's card, okay? So a lover that's close by. Um, now, yeah, this could be, you know, again, it doesn't have to, it could be, uh, you know, uh, two people, uh, a friend, um, you know, it could be anything of the sort, but the lover's card is we get the two people coming together uh, and it's divinely guided. And this, this, this love that's coming through for you is really helping you uh, move forward out of any sort of anxiety, any, feel, any, any type of feeling left out of a situation. Uh, in helping you understand your internal workings. And I think that that is really key. So the lover's card, you know, major kind of card, which is really beautiful. Um, and, but I also get uh, this um, uh, that, that talks about the six of cups. And the sixes are all about a brand new beginning. There's been growth as it pertains to this. So the six of cups is just saying, hey, right now that, you know, you're looking back at um, the past situation uh, you know, the illusion that maybe perhaps that you had in a relationship or in a situation as it pertains to lovers. 
Um, and then it has you moving forward with the two of wands passionately. This is your energy, right? Um, you know, am I going to choose to do this alone right now? Do I need some time alone? Or am I going to take that one, that other wand with me and there's going to be two people involved? Um, you know, hence the lovers here. But something's making you feel emotionally, you know, really, really good after, uh, you know, feel feeling left out, you know, so to speak, but you've got growth here and then you've got an opportunity of passion to move forward. Uh, and, uh, this is about, you know, uh, you know, you know, this opportunity to move forward on here. This is about, um, making progress. Okay. So whatever came through to you on a new enterprise, a new opportunity, you're making progress on it, right? It, this is about, you know, going through that and making progress so that can help. So lovers is good. Actually, you know, your love life is going to help you in this process of, of going through, um, you know, what has rocked your core in the bondage that you've had in the past and to get rid of it, like impoverished beliefs is what I feel that's coming through in the cards. Yeah. And what this is saying too, is that applies some heat to the situation. So in terms of what can help, it applies some heat to the situation, move forward, um, you know, start, you know, taking some action on this, um, taking some action, which has you strategizing a little bit on what you want out of your world. Um, again, whatever has brought you to my channel, apply the heat on it and let the universe co-create with you. So turn up the heat a little bit on this, okay? It's going a little bit, it's like a simmer. It wants you, you know, it hasn't even got to a, a point where it can actually um, have a, a slow simmer. It wants you to turn up the heat a little bit on this, okay? So you're being guided to, to do that at this time. Uh, anything else that can ask in terms of who, uh, you know, who or what can help you? What is this? Yeah, I think this is just like really reconnecting. Uh, now this could reconnect with a person, place, or thing, but it's, you know, it really, it starts with self, right? So this is that passionate fire energy that you have. And this is like really reconnecting to your fire within. I, that's really what I feel here. It's just like, it's like there's some sort of fire within that's, that's being, that wants to establish itself. So this is really good. So this is what I feel. It's like it's kind of energizing energy. So you kind of lighten the fire. And that's why I kind of get the heat there. You can kind of see it's like, um, you know, reconnecting with yourself and reconnecting perhaps with another is really applying a lot of heat and, and giving you a, a lot of opportunity to push forward on what it is that you want. What are the three steps that are going to help you in this process? Let's take a look at what the three steps are that can kind of help you in this process. And we'll pull some tarot on it too, okay? Let's see what this is. Okay, so we've got, you know, getting perspective. Uh, we've got potential and listen. So we've got perspective. So this is about getting perspective of the situation. Again, it really is very similar to uh, what I see here that in terms of what can help you getting perspective. It's kind of, you see the globe in both of these and she's getting perspective on her life and what it is that she or she wants. That's so key. So I think it's kind of getting perspective, getting more of a handle of what you want in life after, you know, some of the, uh, you know, kind of negative energies that was around before. So getting perspective in your world and what that means to you and what your world will look like moving forward. Okay. Um, let's uh, pull a card on this and see what else can help you in this process. So getting perspective, what can help you? Uh, yeah, this is about to gather. Maybe it's gathering friendships, relationships, and people that can help and support you. So kind of gathering um, different ideas and kind of, uh, you know, brainstorming on what that looks like. Uh, so it's gathering, you know, with others. So that's going to help you get that perspective a little bit, talking with others, you know, communicating with others, being around others is going to help. The next card that I got in terms of helping you uh, overcome any sort of negative energies here and really put you on this passionate moving forward um, of, of being emotionally fulfilled, your, your lover is going to help you in this or someone that is helping you that you truly love. Um, but I also think that there is a, this is about potential, the potential to create what you want rather than to hide in the past as your past, you know, inner child was. So it's about taking the inner child by the hand and saying, we've got potential. Let's take each other by the hand. You don't need to be afraid anymore. You don't need to feel impoverished anymore. And maybe it served you when you were younger, but, but now we don't need to because through my adult eyes, I feel we can orchestrate this. So let's do this together. So there is a potential, um, you know, the steps to take is that there is a potential that's being offered you know, an opportunity. And, and so this is saying, you know, to kind of go that route. What else is, comes out in the potential side? Let's see what the uh, cards say. Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. 
So yeah, brand new beginning, a message coming through from the page. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but this is a page. This is a new beginning. And then I get the Eight of Wands. It's about change. So this is all about uh, maybe there's some sort of travel. There's change. There's movement. You might be traveling. Uh, someone else might be traveling to you. Um, could be in a situation, but um, this potential might involve travel for you for this new beginning. And that's what I'm saying, guys. Note your comments below because I'd love to know, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the last card in terms of you how to overcome uh, the situation that's been causing anxiety and making you feel impoverished. This is about listening, okay? So this card comes out really listening to yourself, listening to your body on what it wants and needs and listening to your heart, you know, and, uh, you know, finding out the, the practical ways of how you can move forward uh, in this situation. We're going to cover some more cards and see what else, what these soul trees have to say, soul tree cards have to say. Let's see here. Whimsical. You know, this is about, you know, this is about, you know, listening, but listening to the whimsical, kind of the, the things that you wouldn't, that, that are kind of out there a little bit. Uh, outlandish ideas that sometimes using your imagination can really bring forth a lot of practical ideas if you can, you know, if, 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 if sometimes they could be, you know, start as imaginative and then can bring them down, down to a practical level for some of, uh, for us in some ideas. So this is about, you know, being uh, kind of going with the flow a little bit, I think is going to help you in terms of listening. Talking about imagine, this what comes out in the next card, imagination. It's like imagine, right? Imagine what it is that you want, right? And, and listen to it. And because um, it's, 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 this is about, uh, that could really bring forth again, uh, that of which that was hidden, right? And um, so really listen to yourself, take a look at the situation and what that looks like. Uh, and, uh, and I'm gonna pull some other things too. I'm going to pull three, three more cards. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, it, because when you start listening, you understand that you can take a different perspective. You don't have to stay stuck in the old limiting beliefs or negative emotions. This is the eights. This is about change. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is about taking a change of perspective, not feeling bound up and tied by the past past emotions, again, past things that maybe let you, you know, kind of, uh, kind of held you back, you know, I think in the past, this is, the, you know, in the five of pentacles and feeling impoverished of some, so to speak. But yeah, this is, uh, you no longer have to be felt in, in that bondage or take on that bondage anymore. Okay. So yeah, so it's getting, it's like, you know, the eight of swords, the nine of swords, you know, the eight is changed, nine's coming to fruition. Guess what happens after that? You become the queen of wands, right? Here is you are standing in your own energy, at your, your own magnificence here. This is being of influence. This is about, you know, having authority. This is about now, now capturing that vibrancy that you felt that maybe was, that needed to be reignited, just, you know, that kind of now puts you into that, that you remember I said there's a change, you kind of move from this beautiful vibrancy um, and it, it just is really beautiful. You're reconnecting, you know, with your vibrancy of yourself and that brings on the queen of wands and, you know, she's, she's all in her power. I mean, in her passion as well. So this is really, really beautiful. She's, um, you know, just really beautiful, you know, being very exuberant now found, finds her energy. And again, we've got that sunflower moving towards the light, you know, is what I see here. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I do want to pull, um, anything else that can help you with the, uh, um, the sacred rebel oracle we're going to find out uh, what's your oracle advice in terms of moving forward this is beautiful you're reconnected with yourself once again Saj. note your comments below but this is what i really feel and that starts there first and then everything else starts flowing you know and it's like you start off you know you start off with this uh the the feeling of this uh you know this the you know kind of like cutting something out uh you know heartache and then you end with, you know, the queen of swords. I mean, unbelievable. This is beautiful. You on your throne. Um, so let's take a look at uh, what the sacred rebel cards have to say for you. Let's take a look at what they have to say. It's going to be important for you. Ooh, I love this. You know, we talked about you, you know, kind of developing strategy and looking at the globe and you got a couple cards coming, kind of, you know, coming, coming up in that respect. This is a 15 card and this 15 card reduces to a six that talks about growth. So what I see here that this is telling me is that you've had some sort of growth within you and you've seen some sort of, um, 
uh, you know, of, of a third eye perspective, right? You've had some sort of growth that, that was taking place. The title of the card is Big Bold Vision. And it couldn't be more appropriate for you kind of standing, um, you know, really sitting on your throne and kind of sitting there. Um, now, in, I should say standing because you're now you're moving towards the light in your own energy and being so hopeful and so uh, ignomic. I mean, just dynamic, you know, as well. But this really talks about, um, yeah, this is... This talks about um, you're not born to play small in your life and you have the ability to really dream big. So it does want you to have that big, bold vision, you know, come into play. You know, there's something, there's a vision or idea that's coming to you. And I think that you feel that it might be a little bit too much, but what this is saying is no, you're up for it, okay? You've already stepped into that energy right now and it's ready for you. So this is about, you know, cracking out of any sort of uh, limiting thinking, uh, negative emotions. And if you need help with that, definitely go to Beyond the Read, okay? Because it's also my description box, but that can help you uh, quite a bit to get to the, the root of things. Um, uh, but uh, you don't want to shrink into your limitations, what you want to expand into the possibilities. I think that's kind of one of the biggest things. So I hope that this uh, helps you. Um, remember that um, you're being asked to also in this card um, that remember that when something is right for you, there's going to be a lot of synchronicities that are going to be around to support you. So, you know, it, it's going to help, uh, help actually bring this part of this grand vision beginning and start to play out for you. So just note that, okay? Um, yeah, you have a grand visionary, brand new beginning here. And uh, I'm so excited for this yummy energy for you, Sag. Note your comments below, guys. I'd love to know. Like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, namaste.